Okay, and it's done. Um, I have a challenge for you. I would like you, for you to join me in the e-sauna, and we're just going to sit there uh, silently and see who can take it for longer. It's very well lit. It's warm. Yeah. I can just feel the infrared energy of creativity in here. All right, I can't take any more. Will you show me the real thing? Sure. Come it's on. It's such a pleasure, dude. <laughs> we continue. <laughs> Put her there, pal. That's the one. That's it, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. It seems really intuitive. It is, and really sporty. You know I need to drive it, right? Sure. You have, you have driven it already. Well, I mean, I as Tony Stark in Avengers 4, out in theaters spring 2019 I did, but this is us now, buddy. So, that looks like on, that looks like that. Hoo-wee, baby! So don't worry, we aren't going over when Robert Downey Jr. said that he drives the Audi e-tron GT in Avengers 4. We've already done that in a different video, but it is linked to this video. So what is good YouTube if you're new here? My name is War Stu, and we're going to break down this interesting video that we have. So it appears we have a confirmation kind of of who really is going to save Tony Stark and Realistically, it isn't the top person that everyone thought was actually going to be saving Tony Stark, but seeing as it's coming from a very good company and a reliable source, I thought we'd go over it. So, I'm getting some really awesome feedback on the new intro and outro that I had made for the channel. I've added a link to the company who made it for me. I just want to say that I paid for the intro and outro. I commissioned a company in LA called Val or CatStudios.com. Like I said, I've got the description down below. I'm not plugging them. I've paid for it. It's commissioned, you know. I'm being legit. I paid for it as I reached out to the company and to be honest, they got back to me and back and forth about what I wanted and to be honest, they delivered it really fast. So I would recommend this company to anyone that wants to get graphics or CGI or VFX or animation done because from what I can see, they're pretty cool, happy with what they gave me. So make sure to go check them out. Obviously, I presume they're called the same thing on Twitter and Instagram as well. So damn guys, buckle in. There's a lot of news from Marvel. Captain Marvel, Avengers 4. So obviously the Captain Marvel tickets went on sale yesterday and it's in the top three of all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, which means there's a lot of interest for it. Even though a lot of people seem to be hating on the Captain Marvel movie, I get it, I get it guys, I get it. I'm gonna actually make a different video of why people are so mad at Captain Marvel and mad at Marvel, because I get it. Like we've had this universe for 10 years almost and they're bringing in a new character and she's gonna be the strongest character ever. She can move planets, etc. I get it, but there's no reason to be mad at the actress. It's not her fault, but her movie is set in the 90s, so it's not really relevant because it's set before any other one. So the car manufacturer appears to have issued a rather big spoiler about who says the boy, our boy, the MCU's hero, the MCU's master, the MCU's oracle, the MCU's god, Tony Stark. Thanks to a new feature unveiled at the S. ES 2019. Audi has announced plans to turn the backseat of their new e-tron GT, which will be in Avengers Endgame, into a virtual reality game and experience. And the name of the toy, the game, they've used for the demo suggests that Rocket, yes, my boy, Rocket Raccoon, will be the one to save the day in Endgame. Audi and Marvel have announced the game will be called Marvel Avengers Rocket Rescue Run, with the users weaving between asteroids to rescue somebody or something in space. Now, thanks to Avengers Endgame, we know that while Tony Stark and Nebula escaped Titan in the Benatar, the ship acquired by the Guardians of the Galaxy before the snap, they are now stranded somewhere in space after the decimation from Thanos. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Rocket is the only Guardian to appear to survive the snap. Obviously, 
Rocket doesn't know about Nebula surviving because Rocket went back to Earth with Thor. So this is very interesting, guys, because remember a bunch of time ago, there was a theory on Reddit that everyone tried to steal, but it came from Reddit originally that suggested, well, really Twitter, but then it went on Reddit. It suggested that the real possibility for Iron Man, the theory centers around a handy little tool Rocket is seen with in one of the Guardians film. Guardian of the Galaxy director Jane Gunn once explained on Twitter that the device was an extreme 3D printer and as it has the entire ship in its memory can recreate the whole thing or damaged parts which would make sense why Rocket Raccoon's tool could save everyone. But like I said, just because they're making a video game called Rocket Run Rescue Marvel Avengers Rocket Rescue Run doesn't actually confirm that he's going to be the one to save the day, does it? Just like putting a car and getting Robert Downey Jr. to say, yeah, Tony Stark drives the e-tron GT does not mean that he doesn't die. I mean, realistically, they're not going to die. And like I said before, the trailer could be fake because Kevin Feige confirmed that they won't be advertising past the first 10 to 20 minutes of the movie. So the whole trailer can't really be real, can it? It could be misleading. Some parts could have been left out, you know, when they're stranded in space. Some parts could have been modified, could have been edited out to make it look like the situation is a lot worse than it actually is. So Tony seems to be accepting death. The fact that he will be dying soon, leaving a message to Bay, aka Pepper Potts, he's thinking he's going to die. But let's get over it. Let's go over it. Ideas of who else could possibly save the day. Because let's go. Let, let's be honest, guys. Everyone is talking about who is going to save Tony Stark, not who is going to save the day and save the world and stop Thanos ultimately. So we've got to go through this in chronological order. Yes, I have done a bunch of videos like this before, but we've got some new evidence that Rocket Raccoon is going to be the one to save the day. I mean, if it isn't going to be any other guys, you think Thor, but no, Rocket is everyone's going with. So guys, let me know in the comment box down below all your crazy ideas of who could save the day. Pepper Potts. Due to the behind the scenes images, we've seen her in the motion capture suit. You know, the suit with all the dots. So we know she's going to be in the suit at some point in this movie. The fact that it said rescue during the monologue or the dialogue in the scene, no chance of rescue and everyone's theorizing that the comics, the rescue suit. Yeah, cool. That could be a reason. Pepper Potts could save my boy Tony Stark, but I don't really see, think the directors are going to have Gwyneth Paltrow, Pepper Potts save the day. Although they are pushing for diversity, I mean, Captain Marvel will be the face of the MCU, so maybe, so maybe they might get Pepper Potts to save Tony Stark. You know, they're going for diversity. The MCU's realistically are set for a bunch of people like Black Widow, Valkyrie, uh, Pepper Potts, realistically, there hasn't really been much female representation in the MCU, and I'm a really big fan that they are, so maybe that's a way they could do it, but I don't realistically think that. Everyone is thinking Captain Marvel, aka Carol Danvers, will be the one to save Tony Stark. I mean, now we know, spoiler warning, she can time travel. So if Tony Stark dies, she can go back in time and save him. But it's unclear at the moment of how she can actually time travel. I've done a different video on that, which most likely we've got posted for this. So she can fly. She can shoot photon blasts out of her wrists. So she got the pager from her boy, Nick Fury. So realistically, it would make sense if when she's coming down from the Kree homeworld, if that's where she is when the movie starts. We've got, there's a lot of presumptions got to be made. It would make sense that she would be one to save Captain Marvel. So realistically, I think the most realistically logical reason would either be that maybe Rocket does save Tony. That would make sense. But Captain Marvel, from a standpoint that she's going to come along, she's by far the strongest character, not the strongest Avenger. Now they have saying that Captain Marvel is the strongest character they've ever introduced in the MCU, even more stronger than Thanos himself. But she's not going to realize till towards the end of the Captain Marvel movie just how strong she is. So realistically, Captain Marvel is the number one spot. I mean, I guess you could say Rocket would be a cool one, Pepper Potts. I mean, I've heard the Ant Man theory going around on Reddit and Forge channels like that, but realistically, Ant Man, how would Ant Man get up into space? 
um, unless he's going to fly up there in the spaceship. I can't realistically see him saving Tony Stark, to be honest. Can you? So anyway, guys, let me know everything that you think. Have I revealed it? Has Audi revealed another major spoiler confirmed revealed? I don't know. Uh, I just like going over videos like this. I like to get a bit more detail than doing like a two minute video because I don't really like making two minute videos. I want to make longer videos as I really like making longer content. So I will be introducing a new series on this channel and also on Apple and wherever you listen to podcasts. So I'm working on a podcast series at the moment where we are going to go over all these kind of topics in greater detail with guest YouTubers and guest people. Uh, obviously other people outside of YouTube some pretty I've got some pretty cool guests lined up so I'm just thinking of when we can introduce this and obviously there'll be questions from you guys and stuff like that so it'll be more of an interactive podcast I try and keep it under an hour long but that is where we're gonna go hopefully we can do one of them every other week or maybe every week it depends because they will take a long time to make so like I said guys make sure to check out the people that made my intro because I really like an outro it's called Valor I believe Val or catstudios.com really cool would love to know your opinions about everything about captain marvel about why are people hating on it do you do you love it i mean i'm actually a fanboy of captain marvel with brie larson even though she hasn't appeared yet because i watched kong skull island the movie where she's in it tom hiddleston who plays loki's in it i just think she's an awesome actor i don't really get the hate that she gets i mean i'm a massive supporter of her can't wait to go watch a movie and if you do want to enter the latest giveaway all you got to do is comment down below who saves tony stark i mean even tony, even walsh you could get no 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 I, I won't get a cameo so let me know down below guys if you do want to enter competition to win either infinity war or deadpool super to do or venom or i'm on wasp just comment down below who's going to save tony stark and then that will pretty much get you entered into the competition. So anyway, guys, I'll leave you with a new outro, which I really love. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch ya. And I